All right, I'm gonna go over just a couple additional examples for audio and videos. So right now I just have a basic page and let's go ahead and edit that page in another tab just so we can go back and forth. So um, first things first, let's just go ahead and show you another example. We have a couple files already uploaded. You can see them once you click Add Media, this big Add Media button. And if you want to add it to a page, you just select which one you want to add and insert it to a page. And so that's an audio file. And then let's go ahead and insert a video file as well. And then you'll notice the short code's already built for you. So now that we have an audio and video file, we can go over some of the options um, for them. And basically, most of the options are going to have to do with the video. For instance, let's say we want to have a poster on the video so it's not this blank, um, you know, black box. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to upload a photo. So go ahead and upload a photo. And then once you've uploaded your photo, you can actually go under these attachment post settings. And you're going to want to select media file and then the full size or original size. And then it gives you the URL right here. So once we've selected those options, they're probably going to be that by default. But if not, you can just you know select media file, full size, and don't click insert to page, just go ahead and close this out once you've copied that, that link there. And then we're going to go ahead and edit some of these options. So the poster, for instance, is just we're going to go into our short code and go poster equals. And then in there, we're going to paste in um, within those quotes, we're going to paste in that URL from the image you just uploaded. Um, and once again, I just pulled that from add media. I selected the poster that we uploaded and then I copied this URL. So once we paste it in there, you can update it and we can refresh our page and you'll see we now have that poster, which is really nice um, so that you don't have that black box. Then the next thing to go over is a couple other options. And these options are all listed online on our live preview example under basic usage. So one of them, for instance, is autoplay. And so we can turn autoplay on or off. So let's go ahead and paste in autoplay to our uh, video. All right, I need to do autoplay equals true. Once we type in autoplay equals true, we can update it. And then when I view the site, you can see it auto plays it um, on page refresh. So then the other thing I can go over is um, how to add additional file types. So let's say you wanted to have more than just a .mp4 file. You can just add media and then let's go ahead and upload um, you know, a different file type. I have a .webm file right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just um, link to the media file on this attachment post settings. And that's just saying I want the URL to the actual file, just like our poster. And then we can go ahead and add in, uh, this one's a WebM file type, and we can paste in our WebM file type. And that just adds additional um, you know, codecs that are supported for video. If you don't know, um, you know that much about codecs and different browser supports, don't worry. You can just use a dot, the MP4 file and that will um, have a flash fallback for you know other players and things like that and then the last thing we need to go over is the uh, your, you can adjust the width of the player so for instance by default if you insert it it says 640 by 360 and you can actually get rid of the height it only adjusts the width so let's go ahead and just do 300 as an example we'll update that and you can see how the width is affected. Uh, the width only works on the um, the video player, the width setting. Um, audio just doesn't support it just because WordPress currently doesn't support that under the short code. So hopefully in the future we'll add that. But there is a fallback to adjust the audio width and um, all of them actually together for the playlist as well. And that's covered in the theme documentation under player sizes. And it's just a function that you can type into your functions.php file. And then this number right here is what your width will be set to.